Hey, welcome to Bunk World Entertainment. And don't worry, everybody. We can all finally relax. Because Ezra Miller has come out and said, I'm sorry. Yep, all's right in the world. The Flash actor says recent controversies the result of complex mental health issues. What's that? Code for you're fucked in the head? So, this comes from Bounding Into Comics. And they write, after six months of doing their best reverse Flash, anyone who doesn't know the Flash mightn't get that, but the Flash star Ezra Miller has finally addressed their storm of recent controversies. <laughs> Oh my good God. But he's attributing them to complex mental health issues. And claiming to have begun ongoing treatment in order to get his life back on track. It's almost as if a studio said, hey, just say this bullshit so we can release the goddamn movie, okay? <laughs> so in a brief statement provided exclusively to Variety, on August 15th, the elusive actor responded to the numerous grooming accusations, arrests, and other legal complications which they faced over the past year by explaining, I have recently gone through a time of intense crisis. I now understand that I am suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy safe productive stage in my life well whoop the goddamn do you know it's amazing that all of a sudden he gets charged. All the crap is coming out. Stuff we haven't heard from people. We haven't heard from. The studio weighs up three options. What to do with this movie. Recast and reshoot the thing. Cancel it outright. But what was that third one? No one was actually quite sure what the third one was. Until now. The third option... <laughs> the third option was for Miller to apologise guess they went with option C they're obviously thinking okay it's going to cost us less if we can get this psycho to just say sorry so we can release the movie like how insane is that kind of option to even be on the table. He's an actor. He lies for a living. What, we're supposed to sit here and believe? Oh, well, everything's got to be okie dokie. He's getting treatment. And he said, I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. Do you honestly think that kind of nutballness can be treated? He's attacking women. Almost on a daily basis by the sounds of it. Hey. He says he's sorry. Okay. Where's the mother and her kids that were on his farm? Hmm. I notice he hasn't said where the hell they are. Interesting. No? What? Is it a psycho? How... The guy apparently has cults. We see his state of mind in those arrest videos. We saw him on stage with Gail Godot trying to convince her to say down with the patriarchy. This guy is beyond help. He, like what? 
What's he going to do? Walk into this treatment place, sit down, say I'm sorry, do a bit of crap, and all of a sudden make the miraculous comeback. Just in time for the premiere of The Flash. Come on. Come on. Who did they think they're fooling? I don't buy his apology. I don't buy that he's in treatment. I don't buy that he's going to be healthy and right in the mind when he comes back. And I don't think anyone else does. But clearly they are desperate to release this movie. It's probably going to bomb anyway. So congratulations. You've just enabled him. And still lost money. Let me know what you guys think. Because I think this is crazy. Alright. I'll leave it there for this one. Cheers. I shall catch you in the next one.